Hey guys, it's Marilyn, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about fragrances that I am currently addicted to. These ones I've been reaching for a lot for this past month, and I just want to share with you guys what I've been loving lately. So, I have eight perfumes here. Um, I'll just separate them into like cheapies slash designers and then I have uh, a few niche and I'll leave that to the end. Let's begin with the fragrance that I have been probably wearing the most this uh, past month. This is called Citrus Maize. Thank you to the person who uh, taught me how to say it, Maize. <laughs> so Citrus Maize, part of the Zara Rain collection. It's an Eau de Parfum perfume. However, I would say it performs more so like a uh, eau, de, eau de Cologne or an Eau de Toilette because it is not a strong fragrance at all. Um, but it's perfect for hot days. There have been a few uh, warm uh, spring days that we've uh, been having lately and it's perfect. So it smells to me like really fresh, bright, bergamot, lime, lime juice, and that's pretty much all it is. <laughs> I really enjoy how this kind of like wakes me up in the morning. I spray a lot of it whenever I wear it. You can see here that um, I've gone through quite a lot of it. This one's the 90 mils and I would say I'm about, I don't know how much, but I did use a lot of it and I just love it. It's quite an addictive scent that is a dumb reach easy to wear, fresh, bright, happy, um, and like perfect for, you know, everyday use. And I do have to reapply it, but I don't mind. <laughs> so that's Citrus Maize from Zara, part of the Zara Rain collection. Next one here is a new fragrance that I got very recently and uh, I did put a big dent, well, a quite a dent in it already, considering how long I've had it. So this is the newest fragrance from Dolce & Gabbana, uh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever. And I recently unboxed this and um, I loved it and I still love it. <laughs> so this one is also a very addicting scent. It smells like the original uh, light blue, but I get this beautiful creamy floral and creamy fruitiness in here that I don't get in the original. So it's still quite sparkling and uh, fresh, but the creaminess in here is just so gorgeous, you guys. Again, perfect for warm days, perfect for year round actually. And I am loving this a lot. So that's Dolce & Gabbana Forever Light Blue or Light Blue Forever. It's an EDP and it smells so, so good. <laughs> Especially if you're already a fan of light blue, you'll probably like this um, because it does add this gorgeous, gorgeous, creamy floral, creamy fruit sweetness to it um, with some lemon, orange as well. There's a blood orange in here and I love it so, so much. So I will probably use this up quickly. It's just a 25 milliliter, um, but hopefully I can maybe get another bottle at some point when it's uh, discounted, hopefully. Now the next one that I've been wearing a lot is something that I talk so much about on my channel, but I cannot stress how gorgeous this is. Very affordable scent from the House of Trussardi. This is Donna Eau de Toilette. I love the bottle here. It has this nice little stripe. Here are just little details and then the ombre is just so, 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 so pretty. And whenever I wear this scent, I feel like extra pretty. I wore this biking the other day and um, when I go biking, I just wear like whatever clothes, like sweats and um, runners and just a whatever sweater. <laughs> but I honestly felt like super bougie <laughs> when I wore this bike riding and it is a gorgeous citrus floral scent, um, jasmine, tea, and uh, woodiness. It's just perfect, you guys. It is so elegant, it's so bougie, at least to me. It makes me feel dressed up, um, even though I'm not. And um, 
yeah, it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Super underrated. I probably will be talking about this a lot for the coming year because <laughs> it literally is one of my absolute favorites of all time now. So that's True Sardi Donna Eau de Toilette. Another one here that I have been wearing so, so much. It's insane, you guys. I've been wearing this like almost every day. <laughs> And it's not that uh, old, like I've, I've only had this for like a month or two. Um, Alien Eau Extraordinaire. I don't know, this is a 30 milliliter Eau de Toilette. I think it's discontinued now. I bought a backup bottle. Oh, it's not here, but it is just like the most wearable Alien. I think it's now my favorite Alien. It used to be Alien Fusion which I still really, really enjoy. It's like a spicier, gingery alien. But this one is a lot brighter, a lot more uplifting. For me, it changes my mood. It makes me happy, um, very sparkling and just so gorgeous. Like there is this beautiful bergamot in here and there's like tea notes and it's just so, 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 so gorgeous. <laughs> um, I love the bottle. I, I just love everything about this. It's just an amazing, easy to wear, versatile uh, version of Alien that is not cloying at all. And it's not heavy. It's quite light, but this does linger a lot. Um, it does stick to my clothing. So even though I don't smell it on my skin sometimes, I do smell it on my clothing for the, the entire day and I absolutely love it. So this is Alien Eau Extraordinaire. Is this an Eau de Toilette? Yes. Love, love this one so, so much. All right, the next one here that I've been wearing a lot more lately and falling in love with over again <laughs> from the house of Guerlain. This is Aqua Allegoria Limon Verde. One that I don't hear too much about but it is one of my favorites. So this one is a gorgeous, fresh, fizzy citrus, and it dries down into a creamy coconut. I think there's fig in here. I can't remember what the notes are, but to me, it opens as like a fizzy and cold seven up kind of smell where you have like this lime, and lemon, like pouring some 7-Up into a glass on a hot summer day, and then you have all those bubbles coming up. <laughs> That's what this one makes me feel when I first spray it. And then it starts drying down into something more creamy, like a creamy coconut, or a creamy fig, or fig milk, or a combination of those things. And it is delicious. It's not heavy. It's perfect for spring, summer. And I really, really like this a lot. So I'm probably going to wear this a lot more even in the summertime, but it is just a beautiful scent, you guys. Very subtle, but very beautiful. It's amazing. So that's Limon Verde by Aqua Allegoria from the House of Guerlain. And then the last designer perfume here is one that I've been reaching for a lot more lately. Also from the House of Guerlain, this is Edel Eau de Toilette. Um, I always say it wrong and I can't even remember how I'm supposed to say it, even though some of you in the comments have told me how to say it, but I forgot. So Edel or Idylle or Idol. sorry. <laughs> so this has been one of my favorites for quite a while, you guys. It is just a fresh, watery, green, lily of the valley scent. It makes me think I am in a garden in the spring or a meadow somewhere. And there's like lily of the valley flowers around me and a beautiful breeze. And it's just a beautiful day and I'm going to have a picnic there. It is just so, so innocent feeling, very pure smelling to me. Um, and it's just beautiful, beautiful, natural smelling um, floral scent that I'm in love with. So I love this. <laughs> Edel, I'm pretty sure you guys know all about. Um, this is the Eau de Toilette version. And yeah, I've been wearing it a lot more lately. 
So those were the designer scents. Let's now move on to the two niche perfumes that I've been wearing the most lately. And this one is from the house of Maison Francis Kirkjean. I just have like a travel spray of it here. This is a pomme femme or a piece of me or a part of me. I think it's a piece of me, but I could be wrong. So a pomme femme, love this scent, you guys. I also do wear the lotion of this. And to me, it's just like the softest, most beautiful orange blossom scent. It's quite light, but it makes me feel like super dainty. <laughs> Even though like I don't, I'm not like a dainty kind of person. But when I wear this, I just feel like super feminine. And I love the note of orange blossom. It is a very quiet and subtle scent, but yeah, it starts off as this gorgeous smelling natural flower garden of orange blossom. And, and then it dries down into something more of a creamy floral. Um, but I love this. It is just so subdued. Um, but it's just so, so gorgeous. I love this so much. <laughs> and I don't really talk about it too much. When I think of MFK, I think right away of Baccarat Rouge. Um, but there are some other gorgeous scents, as you know, from this um, house. And A Pomme Femme is one of them for sure. If you're into light fun, easy to wear, floral scents. Okay, so the last one here is from the house of Wilhelm Parfumery. I have talked a lot about this last year. I still really, really love it a lot. This is Mango Skin. I don't know, when I spray this, <laughs> I have made the mistake of like eating it. Like, I don't know, maybe there's something in here that maybe a little part of it goes outwards and then it lands in my mouth because it's happened more than once when I've sprayed this on me and then I taste it and it's like so disgusting. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments if that's, if you guys do that sometimes, if you like eat your perfume by accident. But yeah, this tastes horrible, but the scent of it, you guys, is just so amazing. If you're looking for the Holy Grail Mango Perfume, I would say definitely try this one because this one literally like blows every mango perfume that I've ever tried out of the water. It is a realistic dry mango, mango dessert, mango pudding, ripe mangoes, juicy, fresh, delicious and I don't know I just love I love mangoes like I love eating them in real life so of course when I smell something that smells like very similar to it or exactly to it then I will love it so this one is a very long-lasting fruity scent it's one of my most it's my most favorite or one of my most favorite fruity scents out there there's also black currant in here but this one is all about the mango and everything you can think of when it comes to mango. So even the skin part you get, the juice, like that. Oh, it's making my mouth water just thinking of it. But this is definitely one to try if you're into fruity scents and especially if you're looking for like the best mango. And um, I still wanna try other mango fragrances, but I haven't tried anything better than this so far in my journey. So that's Mango Skin from Wilhelm Parfumery. Those are the first, that's the, uh, <laughs> those were the fragrances that I have been reaching for the most this past month. These ones I find to be very addictive, gorgeous, and I would love to hear what you guys have been wearing lately, which ones uh, you've been reaching for the most. Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.